Hello again, and um, welcome back to Make It Yourself, basically. Yeah, it's the card mat, it is, it is. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these. It's a box top gimmick, it sticks onto there. It's got the back of a card on there, and it sticks to the top of the box, like that. Just so you can do things like, you can hide a card behind it, get the card there, throw that on top, you can't see the card, not going to fall off, right? You have seen what they're for before, but that's what I'm going to show you what to do. Right, the ideal way of doing it, because I need to make a new one, so I'm going to be making a really professional one, and I'll show you how to make a really professional one, he says. You need the box that you're going to use, you need an identical box, obviously, notice, same colour, try and avoid this kind of a box, with them bloody stupid things printed on them. Unless you get another box identical, but then you can only use it on boxes with that thing in the exact same place, so... Avoid them like the plague. Clear face on them, right? Because I say I'm going to do a pretty professional one, what I'm going to be doing to start with is stripping just the face off the card because you want to try and make it thin. Because you can, and I'll cut that in half, if you stick the two of them together, it's thicker than a normal card. You want to make it really good. You want to try and make it as about the same thickness as a card. So I'm going to start off by stripping that off, right? Once I've done that, I will come back to you. Right, thankfully you weren't here for that. I mean, what was a blink of an eye for you was like an eternity for me. At least I learned one valuable lesson. I did. Picking my nose today, picking it that good, started bleeding. What did I do? I cut my nails. What did I need to do? Cut my nails. What did I need for this? Nails. I'm only kidding, I wasn't picking my nose. But it did cut me nails and I couldn't get a grip on the end of the bloody paper. So as you can see, I've peeled off the face. And I've also peeled so far down the back, right? Looks a bit of a mess, but there you go. Right, I'll just stick that to one side for a minute. I didn't tell you what else I needed. You needed the knife. You need that, you need that, you need that. You need some glue. You need some scissors. You need a ruler. You need these little strong magnets. Get them off eBay and you need a sharp knife. Right, so, I've peeled the front off and I've peeled the backs down a bit. That's important because I'm going to be putting little holes in the paper, that bit of cardboard. So when I put that down and put the front on, the, there's no bump, if you know what I mean, where the magnets are going to go, because they're super thin magnets. So there won't be any kind of a bump, right? So, I've done that. Now what do you do? Right, <clears throat> since you've got this part here, use the back of the box... I don't know if I've already said this, but use the back of the box because it's the same colour as the box. Whereas if you use a piece of white cardboard, it might get seen. And all you need to do is cut it so it goes to that bottom fold. You know, the extra fold you get in the card. Just down to there. Right, so that's what I'm going to do now. So you want to get... I want to cut that part off there. So if I start off, I'll cut it off at that seam. And we can bin that. Then I can place that so it goes right the way down to there. And as you can see, you want to cut it off because you got you got the half circle there and you want to get rid of that. So you get that to the seam, fold that over, make sure it's all the way down, turn that over, and then you can cut it then right at the top where it joins to that seam. Just like that. Now that should be the exact size that you need to fit inside your cardboard box. And as you can see, you wouldn't know the difference. Right, now, obviously on that side of it, that side, get off the magnets. You need to get four magnets. One... Two, get them out of the way so you don't start sticking to them. Three, and one more of this four. Right. Little blob of glue. Now 
Mas os meus livros estão no BR. E é o Tabac Leu. Não há mil tato que não estão no BR. Que eu vou agora para o Planes, né? I'll get this clue instead. If I can get the top off. Right. Oh, get off, get off, get off. Can you hit when your glue does that? Right, a little dab of glue. Dink. 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 Now it doesn't matter if this goes all over the card. It makes no difference. A little dab of glue. Get off. And you just drop a magnet on each bit of that. One there. I'm going to put a little stick somewhere. Grab another one. Oh. Grab a little stick and just push it into place. Grab another little one and stick it on there. Grab another one and drop it on there. Doesn't matter about the orientation of these ones. And then drop another one on your last bit of glue, if you can find it. About there. Right, so it's got four magnets on it now. Now you glue that into the box. So, again, a lot more glue. I hope I've got enough glue to do all of this. Stick me some there. Some glue coming down there. Around there. Up there. Across the top and just do a little bit in the middle. Like that. And without getting onto my card mat. You pick that up and you square that into there so it fits into place perfect like that nearly christmas you know oh shit oh shit what have i done wrong it doesn't go in there it goes inside your breathing box nobody spotted me deliberate mistake there did they so that goes inside your box. And you get your ruler and push it down. Good job I spotted that before I went too bloody far. That hasn't gone down far enough. Get down far. That'll do, yeah. These things are sent to trials, aren't they? Right, so you get that in there. All glued down. I didn't have enough glue on the top edge. Let's get a bit more glue down in there. Oh, get up. Some glue on that bit. And I always wear my fingers, I'll get bloody stuck. Glue that on so it looks pretty neatish. Ooh, there's my cloth. There, look at that, my fingers are starting to stick to each other. Right. So now if you look inside the box, it just looks like a normal box. But you've actually got four magnets in it. Cool that, isn't it? Right. Now, you want to cut this to resemble that. So basically, you're just cutting off them two flaps. Uh, cut it off there at that top flap and cut the, the arse end off, if we like to say. Stick that there. So I want to first off cut that bit off. And get shut of that. Got glue on me, bloody thing. <sighs> dear oh dear oh dear. Cut that off there. This doesn't have to be exact because obviously you're going to be doing some trimming on this when you get it stuck to the card. 
because you want it to be the same shape as your card, don't you? Cut that off there. And then finally, cut that one down there. Like that. Right. Look at that. Sticky, sticky, sticky with glue. Get shut of them. Don't need them no more. They're gone. Now, uh, yeah, your box top is to go on that way, and it's your card which is to get stuck to that. So, you put, hopefully, this one sticks shut. Shut your box up, place your card on there with that back onto the, the box. And get another four magnets. Get some scissors. There is one. Two. I have to re separate them two. There's a third. And then. Ooh. There's a fourth. Alright. So we separate them. There we go. So we've got four little magnets there. Put your cards on so it fits on the box top itself and then just drop your magnets on one two three smart ass where's that other magnet on I've lost the magnet There. Oh, I need to pull that cut that paper down a bit further. That magnet went a bit too far down. So you get your four magnets on, square that piece of paper up so it fits nicely where you'd need it to go for the box. And because I've done that, I can now judge where I've got to put my little holes. So if I just reach in here, I've got a pencil. So if I just do that. Do that. You built a. The pencil will naturally draw right around where they are because it'll feel the bumps. And there. Oh, that one was missed. There. So I've got four little holes. One thing I didn't get out a hole punch. Come here, let's stick the hole punch. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, and gone one minute. Right, found it. My little hole punch. The only one to do. Well, you can take that actually off there now. Four magnets still there. You can see where you got to punch your holes in the paper. If you don't want to do it that way, you can always just do it the old fashioned way and just poke something through it, something which is a bit sharper than a blunt pencil. Oh, do you know what? Heads will roll for this. Heads will roll. Let's see. What have we got? I've got a nail somewhere. God almighty. There, that'll do. Just push in. Ooh. And watch you don't jab it into your fingers. Push your nail in. Just make a hole that you know is going to be big enough to accommodate your little magnet as I'm doing now or attempting to do and as you can see I cheated I went back to using that so I'd using a nail that was too awkward so I've cut little holes in it as you can see four little holes in the paper okay Right, now that I've done that, I can glue this back down. So, again, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so as you can see, I've glued it back down, and you can see where the little holes were. Now, because where they are, you can see where they're supposed to go. So, take off the magnets again. 
place that on. Ooh. Can't pick my magnets up now. See what happens when you cut your nails. That into position. That one goes into position. That one goes into position. I can't pick you up. Oh, that one missed. Oh dear. Not to worry. Hang on, that's not straight yet. There. Unfortunately, that one's going to give a little bit of a bump there. Okay. But you get the idea. The four magnets now fit into the right places where they're supposed to go. You can now get that and glue that onto the back of your card. Yeah? Or better still, first off, get some glue on these. So I'm going to leave a bit of glue in that hole. For one of them to go on to. I need a bit of glue in that hole. It's going to have to be a little bit of glue because I'm vastly running out of glue here, guys. Get that one out of there. Stick a bit of glue in that. Oh, stringiness. Get that one into there. And this one here is the one that missed, isn't it? Yeah. So it needs to go just underneath the hole and go straight in that up. Get that nice and straight. Get a bit underneath that hole. See I missed with that one. And then drop the last magnet in place. We get them so that they stick into place. Shut the lid up. See where I'm going then. Right, you've got them magnets there. Ideally, you'd give them a chance to go off. And that's what we'll do right now. Right, now my magnets are stuck in place, so all I need to do now is stick it onto this thing here. So you need a lot of glue on this. He says. Let's see how much glue we can muster. Yeah, I'll do it on the I'll do it on here. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll try and cut the top off this one and see if it will bloody work. Get that there. Get that open. Uh -oh. <sighs> cut the nib off that and see if any glue comes out now. Oh yeah, look at that. Success. Make sure you get it going right up to the edges. And this is better glue. I can tell that straight away because my fingers are stiffened very fast. Get some glue on it, like that. Don't you drip anyway. Um, what could I use? Yeah, yeah, I'll just get this. Let's see. Let's see if I can spread it around a little bit using this. Get it on. Oh, sticking. Drop it on place. Looks about right. Yeah. Looks about right, get it back off again and make sure you get it all stuck down. Especially especially around, as I say, the edges. Oh, I'm sticking to it myself. Oh dear. Got 
every inch, difference of everything. Just like that. Yeah. Do a bit more than I think I could. Ah, oh, it's going to go. Yeah. And really look at the edges. You want to make sure that all the edges are sealed and there's no gap. I do apologise for the length of this. Just think if I hadn't paused it. God almighty, how long would we have been here? Right, so again, you just let that go off and hang on one bit. Right, as you can see, it's stuck it all the way around. So all the edges are nice and crisp and clear. There's no little gaps or nothing showing. Now, all you need to do is trim this to that. So put your ruler right on the edge of the card. This is where really good eyesight comes into it. And just trim off your excess across the top. That wasn't close enough, there's still a bit more there. Like that. And do it down the sides. And do it along the bottom. I think my blade's going blunt. Along the bottom and then back up to the edge. That helps, doesn't it? Get me big head out of the light. And then you get your scissors and you just do it around the edges, around the corners, sorry. Just round it off. And get rid of any last little scraggy bits as I'm going to have to do. You can actually buy a corner rounder if you're really into making your gimmick cards. You can buy a corner rounder which actually rounds your corners off for you. So having to be doing it like this. I need to trim up the edge. There we go. And once it's done, you'll end up looking like that. You have a back, a card box with a back. And when you put it on, it sticks in there and it looks like an old box top. Like that. Yeah. What's going on with that? There we go. I'm going to open that up a bit and flatten that down. There, that's better. And it'll stick into place and stay there. And I say it's great for all kinds of tricks. If you want to know what kind of tricks you can do with them, go and check out Gaff Academy. He's got loads of them. And nobody'd know the difference. Well, there you go. There's how you make a, 
a, a false box top for many a trick. Sorry it took so long, but it is a bloody hard thing to make. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope you can have a go at making one. If you don't want to do all the messing around that I've done, you can just get the top of the box and just grab a card, glue a card on, so you don't have to do all the peeling off and everything else that I've done. But there you go. And then you can have fun with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope I didn't bore you too much. And I'll see you again soon.